And right now was built in 1928 and uh, was used in Montreal up to 1959, which is also the number of the unit. Uh, in 1959, uh, the uh, Montreal Transit Company donated quite a bit of vehicles to us at the museum. This vehicle, we did use it for several years, up to the years, let's say around 2000, where it needed restoration very badly. Even the wheels were squared. So uh, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, the restoration over here is done only by volunteers, so it took us five years to uh, do the restoration and bring it uh, up to where you see it right now. Everything was uh, refurbished, like the uh, seats, we got have been able to get some wicker and redo them. We took out the paint and refurnished all the wood. The ad, we just um, did reproductions of it and uh, pl uh, put plastic over it so they'll last a little bit longer. Uh, the, um, the the, the uh, streetcar, also the floor, the, the was also uh, redid. And we, if you notice all these strides that you see in the floor, it's been the winter time. We come in the, with foot, feet full of snow. We bang them on the floor. If it was a flat surface, it would be very slippery. So in order to prevent that, if I would be able to saw the in a streetcar in two, you would see that the floor is shaped like a banana, so that the uh, the, the the water can uh, be eliminated eliminated by the doors. Morning. Electricity above me. I got a high uh, electrical wire that says 600 and uh, 600 volts DC. It's the same power that they would be using in the streetcar years. Uh, it's a science, also the same type of power that we use on diesel electric engines. It's also 600 volts DC for traction motors. So we'll start off and do our ride, and we'll do a, we'll go to the first stop, which is a ride in the miniature train. Okay, we got a small miniature train over here. So uh, anybody that wants to do a ride, feel free. We'll go do a ride on that. Okay. Although I must admit that people that have a problem with their keep our balance because it does like a regular train rock a little bit. So if you have a problem with that, I suggest that you uh, you come and watch come and watch us. No problem, but you shouldn't do the ride.
The rest of the tour should be a little bit easier. <laughs> We have a typical railway station of the rural area. Barrington was a small town near Hemingford, near the border. When the town was dismantled or were mer was merged, uh, the station we just took it up, put it onto a truck, brought it over here. The station is divided in three sections. You got one waiting room for the ladies with the heat, and one uh, waiting room uh, for the men with the cashier. In the in the front completely you got the station uh, master. Why would we put uh, the heat, uh, main heating element on the ladies side? Because we need it more. <laughs> <laughs> <Plain> more. No. <laughs> because we would give the kids with them or the babies with them. We chew tobacco, we play cards, we play checkers, so we'll pay so they'll get a better, uh, uh, the environment's not as good, so we'll let them with the kids. Uh, that's why we put the main heating. No spitting. Hey? No spitting. On the men's side, no, 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 not over here, but I mean uh, in the station, yes, because the chew tobacco, we, oh, any time. Yeah. Why is it the, over here the 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 uh, the the the, the, uh, the amount the uh, fare the not the fare but the uh, fine. the fine for the forty dollars is because if you go back in 1928 there was tuberculosis and influenza that was steadily spread and that spread just with the, with the air eh, environment so uh, in order to prevent that you had to be fine if you were caught spitting. <laughs> 